respected elders and our beloved viewers namaste we feel extremely glad and super excited to meet you all on the world students day to honor the legacy of the indian aerospace scientist and former president dr apj abdul kalam we celebrate his birthday the 15th of october as world students day yes let's make this day more special by participating in the quiz based on his life let's get started in round 1 you will see images portraying achievements or significant moments of dr kalam's journey identify the event in 5 seconds here's clipping 1 You guessed it right. This image was captured when Dr. Kalam received India's highest civilian honor, the Bharat Ratna in 1997. Kalam was given the award for his contribution in scientific research and modernization of the Indian defense program. Check out your answer. The image shows the connection of Dr. Kalam with NASA. Yes, the former president took his early training at NASA in 1963, even before he set up India's first rocket launching facility in the fishing village of Tumba in Kerala. The researchers at NASA discovered a bacterium on filters installed on International Space Station and named it Solibacillus kalami. in recognition of the great contribution of the greatest scientist dr kalam got the answer well india became a nuclear power under dr kalam who was the then the chief scientific advisor to the prime minister between 1992 and 1999 This image shows the representation of Kalam in the development of Agni and Prithvi, the two indigenous guided missiles launched in India. Did you identify the dry land of Rajasthan? Well, the image shows Pokhran nuclear two testing. under the supervision of dr kalam between 1992 and 1999 it was when india evolved as a nuclear armed country the picture clearly shows a unique bonding between dr kalam and his mentor mr satish dawan former chairman of isro The image signifies the visit of Dr. Kalam in Switzerland back in 2006. The Swiss government has dedicated its science day in honor of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam for his vast expertise in science and technology. Upon his arrival, Switzerland declared May 26 as National Science Day. Hope your spirits are high after cracking the right answers of round 1. With the same enthusiasm, let us move to round 2, which is audiovisual round. You have to focus on the content and answer the questions that follow. Here comes the first audio. Question is whether you want to be you or everybody else. You you want to be you? Yes. Not everybody else. Now, if the question be like everybody else is convenient at the first glance, but not satisfying in the long vision, the challenge, therefore, my young friends, is that you have to fight the hardest battle. You have to fight the hardest battle, which any human being can ever imagine to fight. and never stop fighting until you arrive at your destined place 
that is the unique you to get to get the unique you it's a big battle the battle means you don't need to take a gun the battle means you have to have four unique things four unique tools you must have in that battle a uh, one is you have to set the goal the second one is acquire the knowledge continuously and third one it's a hard work with the devotion and fourth is perseverance according to the audio dr apj abdul kalam advised the youth to fight the hardest battle till they reach their destination now the question is what tools dr apj abdul kalam wanted the youth to follow to be a unique person time up now let's check the answer according to dr apj abdul kalam the tools to be a unique person are setting the goal acquiring the knowledge continuously hard work with devotion and perseverance uh, what is this knowledge knowledge what are its components knowledge equal to according to me knowledge equal to creativity plus righteousness plus courage let us define now knowledge equal to creativity righteousness and courage now when you leave this now the combination of these characteristics what i said three thing can generate enlightened citizens when you leave the university campus education and the learning process above all the way of life teachers you you are not only what you learn in your syllabus the way the teachers live the way teacher teaches the ways of teachers the ways of teachers all becomes education hope you heard the audio carefully now the question is what according to abdul kalam are the components of knowledge yes your guesses are right the answer is creativity righteousness and courage here is round 3 titled connections quotes of dr kalam are more than inspirational try a small activity of connecting words and pictures to generate the app quotation so are you ready well the answer is one best book is equal to 100 good friends but one good friend is equal to a library if you want to shine like a sun first burn like a sun dreams is not what you see in sleep dream is a thing which doesn't let you sleep when our signature changes to autograph this marks the success If you can stay positive in a negative situation you win Now we are heading towards the fourth round Knowledge becomes power only when we put it into some use So let's honor our knowledge by answering some rapid fire questions Let me brief you all about the rules of this round You will be asked three questions at a time 
You have to guess the answers within 5 seconds. Are you all ready for the rapid fire? Here comes the first question. By how many votes did Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam defeat Lakshmi Segal in the presidential election conducted in the year 2002? Question number 2. Name the tablet computer designed by Abdul Kalam with the help of cardiologist Soma Raju for the healthcare centers in rural areas. Moving to question number 3. Which island is named after Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam? Your 5 seconds are over. I hope everyone are ready with your answers. Let's check the answers. The answer for question number 1 is 9,22,884 votes. The answer for the second question is Kalam Raju Tablet. And the third answer is Wheeler Island, Odisha. Moving to question number 4. Name the movement launched by Abdul Kalam for the youth of India with the central theme of defeating corruption. Question number 5. How many doctorate degrees did Abdul Kalam receive from various universities? Question number 6. In how many languages? was Abdul Kalam's autobiography translated into. Your 5 seconds are over. I hope you might have guessed the right answer. Let's check. The answer for question number 4 is What can I give movement? Answer for question number 5 is 7 doctorates. Answer for question number 6 is 13 languages. Hope you all had a good time. I would like to thank each and every one for being a part of this quiz competition. Let me conclude with a famous quote of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Life and time are the world's best teachers. Life teaches us to make good use of time. And time teaches us the value of life. Thank you.